Good evening and hello. My name is Renee D. Waring and I am the founder of Uniquely and Wonderfully Made Ministries. Welcome to you all and a special welcome to the new members of my community. I am glad to be able to spend this time with you this evening. My presentation today is the rise in anti-Asian hate crimes has led to a mental health crisis. Tang, a 31-year-old Chinese man, got on a subway train in New York when a white man spat on him, accusing Tang of being responsible for bringing COVID-19 to America from China. The man shouted, quote, go back to China, unquote. This is one example of countless violent assaults on Asian Americans that has taken place during the pandemic. The advocacy group Stop AAPI Hate, which stands for Asian American Pacific Islander, said that it received almost 3,000 reports of incidences of aggression targeting AAPI people between March and December of 2020. The elderly and women were disproportionately attacked. Growing amounts of studies show that aggressions against these groups of people result in a proliferation of mental health problems during the, among the said population. A study published in Ethnic and Racial Studies found that Asian Americans who encountered COVID-related aggression experienced higher levels of anxiety and depression. Upon the review of 121 studies found that youth who experienced discrimination were more likely to develop mental health problems. Quote, we know that when an individual experiences racial trauma, it can lead to a host of mental issues, including increased anxiety, depression, trouble eating and sleeping, unquote. Joe Hahn, Deputy Director of the Asian American Federation, told ABC News. Russell Juhong, co-founder of Stop AAPI Hate, said that many victims, quote, are now displaying signs of racial trauma where they have a long-term effect of depression, anxiety, and somatic symptoms, unquote. Even before the pandemic, Asian Americans had one of the highest rates of occurrences of mental health problems, such as depression and suicide, and were less, less likely to seek treatment compared to other groups of people. Quote, the mental health toll the Asian Americans have always had to live with is one of invisibility, unquote, said Sherry Wang, who is the associate professor in the counseling psychology department of Santa Clara University, said, quote, like colorblindness, not really seeing Asian Americans as people of color who struggle with issues of racism, poverty, and health inequities, unquote. Experts have said Asian Americans are partly held back by, quote, model minority, unquote, myth, which stereotypes them as competent group that's upwardly mobile and not in need of extra help or attention. Quote, the model minority myth continues to be a challenge, despite the fact that Asian Americans are the poorest group in New York City, unquote, with about one in four having poverty, living in poverty. <clears throat> Hong noted, adding that only about 1.4% of the city's social service contracts are for nonprofit servicing Asian Americans even though they make up 16% of the population and 5.6% nationally. 
Unemployment has skyrocketed in the Asian American population, which is another factor which has caused a sharp increase in mental health problems. According to the Asian American Federation, another factor which has caused the sharp increase is the fact that the people of the business community are struggling to stay in business. People need to keep calling their elected officials and financiers to insist that they invest in culturally competent mental health services for individuals and families of their communities. Thus ends my presentation for today. I hope that you found my presentation to be both interesting and informative. Next presentation will be on the second Friday of next month. Please watch and have your family and friends watch also. I would like for everyone to join my community. <clears throat> Fill out the pop-up contact form on my website with your name and email address <clears throat> in order to receive two free educational videos a month on topics of mental health. You can also view my past videos on my website. <clears throat> the site address is www.uniquely and a n d wonderfully made ministries.com i repeat www.uniquely u n i q u e l y and a n d wonderfully made ministries.com my email address is mirecovery74 at gmail.com i repeat M is in Mary, I as in ice, the word recovery, R-E-C-O-V-E-R-Y-7-4 at gmail.com. I repeat, M is in Mary, I as in ice, the word recovery, R-E-C-O-V-E-R-Y-7-4 at gmail.com. Send me your questions, concerns, and prayer requests. I love for you to invite me via email to come to speak to your group on hot topics on mental health. Include your name, name of your group, email address, website address, street address, and telephone number. I am the founder of Uniquely and Wonderfully Made Ministries. My name is Renee D. Waring, and I am the Warrior Waring.